you know, it's popular in a lot of media, a lot of a lot of particular uh, urban type songs mention it and different things. What are some of the misconceptions that this has led people to think about BDSM? Yeah. Well, I think at the center of Fifty Shades of Grey is an abusive relationship mm. um, and not a mutually satisfying one. So, you know, I think one of the the misconceptions is that the bottom or the submissive or the masochist, and you could be all three, you could be two of those, is a kind of doormat and has to do whatever the top or the dominant says they have to do. You know, I want to put in has to do in quotes, right? In scare right. quotes, because really all of this has been pre-negotiated, right? So it's sure. like I, they're the 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 bottom has as much power as the top to speak their needs, to say what they want, to say what they don't want, to say what their limits are. And so um, it it's not a matter of, I'm going to take you to my dungeon, my red room, whatever that thing was, and just do whatever I want to you, even if you don't enjoy that. For the most part, as a top, you enjoy doing things to a bottom that they want done to them. So that's very similar to any other sexual relationship. Yes. And, and role play. And so I think that's, that's a misconception. Um, there's also a misconception that people who are wired for BDSM, who, who do BDSM or BDSM fantasies are, um, victims or survivors of abuse. Mm -hmm. We've actually got good research on that. Yes. And there is no higher incidence of abuse in, in people's lives who practice BDSM or don't practice BDSM. So that's a myth that, this desire is fueled somehow by trauma, right? And people are, people's like brains are miswired if they're kinky. I just think of kinky people as, you know, pe people like what they like, right? Right, right. And, develop, and they also develop preferences and, and then they try new things and see if they like those things too. So you could have liked it from, you know, age 20 or you started, it started to unravel in your life at 45, but it's really just a spectrum of sexuality. And so I don't really, I don't put a value judgment on, hey, my favorite thing is blowjobs. And the next person saying, hey, my favorite thing is getting tied up. Right. They're it's just, all a person's preference. Absolutely. It's all a spectrum. Yes. Absolutely. Well, you, 